Coming up, want to know what keywords your competitors are ranking really high for? I'm going to show you how to find your competitors' keywords accurately and for free. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co, the place you go when you want action packed content in the app business. Today, I want to, this is a question I got from somebody in the audience. He said, Hey, Steve, is there a tool that you like to use to try to find competitor keywords? Because I've tried a couple of different tools and I found that they're very inaccurate. So I said, I do have one. Let me show you exactly how to do that. So in this video, I'm going to show you this free tool. And then how do you find the keywords that what the tool does is show you the competitors, the keywords that the that your competitor is ranking really high for. All right. So let's get into it. So the tool that we're going to use is app Annie. It's a free tool. I know you guys, everybody, a lot of people use it just to track downloads and all that stuff. And so it's a free account that I currently have right now. This is my account. And what you can see is here's where we're going to find it. So let's say, let's say I'm trying to run, can figure out like what my competitors are ranking for. And let's say I'm Thumbtack right now. It's a very popular app. I like using them as well. And so let's say I'm Thumbtack and I know because I'm looking under related that people might also like these type of apps. So Handy is the other app that I'm competitor. So I'm Thumbtack and I want to see what, well, let's figure out what Handy is ranking really well for. Okay. So I'm going to search for Handy book top rated home cleaners. Okay. This is the app. All right, this is my competitor. I'm Thumbtack. I'm gonna go into there. It said book top rated home cleaners and handyman. Okay, so you can see that they're trying to rank really well for certain keywords, and that's why these keywords are in their app name. Next, you're gonna once you have that app, you're gonna go into the keywords section right here. All right, you're gonna click that. And unlike other tools, App Annie actually will give you all the keywords that they rank high for this particular app. So most ASO tools, you actually have to input the keywords to get their rank data, but app Annie relays all of them to you. So you can see these are all the keywords that handy is ranking really well for book electrician, book plumber cleaners. The number one, obviously it's in their app name, handyman, handyman. It's in the app name, home cleaners again in the app name. That's why they rank really high for these particular keywords. Now, what I typically do is after this process, I throw all these keywords, not throw, but I put these keywords into my favorite tools, my favorite ASO tools, Center Tower Mobile Action, and I get the data from them, from the search volume perspective for, and competition. Now, let's say Book Plumber doesn't have too much traffic volume, then you might want, you might not want to rank well for it if I were Thumbtack. If I were Thumbtack and I found that Cleaners actually has a lot of traffic volume, then I might try to rank well for it by adding it into my app name. So let me pick another app for you. TaskRabbit is another one. So my, maybe I'm Thumbtack and I'm like, okay, TaskRabbit is another competitor of ours. TaskRabbit I use a lot as well. As you can see, they're going after Handyman too. Again, you search for the app up here, then you hit keywords again. And then you can see what TaskRabbit ranks really well for. It's loading just a little bit for me. Okay. Jackrabbit. Okay. That's number one. TaskRabbit cleaning services, handyman. They're number two. Tackle. Interesting. Tackle, tackle. Task app, tidy, thumbtack. Look at that. See they're number six for thumbtack. Chores, cleaning, errands. So these are all keywords that potentially Based on the data, you know, for our approach, for our ASO, when we do ASO for our clients, we use a data driven approach. So I want to pull the data for all these keywords to figure out which one has the most. If I'm Thumbtack, you know, I'm a pretty big, well known brand. So I want to figure out keywords that have really high traffic volume because I might already ranking, be ranking really well for them. So just with a few tweaks, I don't really care too much about the difficulty of a particular keyword. Now, if I'm a startup called, let's say, Task Bunny. <laughs> I'm Task Bunny, and it's a brand new startup. I'm competing against Task Rabbit. Oh, let's call it Thumb Bunny, right? All right, I like that. I like that better. I'm Thumb Bunny. I want to compete against Task Rabbit and Thumbtack. Then I want to find keywords that have low competition, right? If I'm Task Rabbit or Thumbtack, I'm gonna. I don't really care too much about the competition because I have a brand and I have an acquisition channel that's gonna help me rank well for these really competitive keywords. I'm gonna purely focus more on high traffic keywords and optimizing for those high traffic keywords, right? Does that make sense? Cool. If 
you like this video, like it on YouTube. And guys, look, I'm promoting this a lot recently because you know, I wanna share more and more stuff and I wanna help you back. So my vision is to have 100, 100, I'm gonna start with 10 first. So first and foremost, let's start with 10, 1 million downloads members of App Masters Academy. App Masters Academy is a brand new service that we just launched that allows you to get access to all the stuff that we do for our clients and things that we are tweaking and figuring out with iOS 11, you're gonna have access to all this stuff for one low monthly fee, you get access to everything we do and you know the app store is constantly changing. So we're gonna add new stuff in there all the time. And the thing I wanna highlight more is, you know, obviously I wanna answer a lot of your questions, but I wanna show more of the cool stuff that we've been doing behind the scenes and I wanna highlight that. And I don't wanna share everything to the public because then they might not work anymore, but to the App Masters members, I'm happy to give you you know, help you out any way I can. So it allows me to prioritize my time and also give back to the community. And that's where I'm doing it on in or on App Masters Academy. So if you're ready to get started, go check it out. It is appmastersacademy.com, appmastersacademy.com. I'll see you on the next video.